It just wrapped up today's event, the last of three, and we're hoping to get around 2,400 seniors today. But officials are saying that the infrastructure they have built up here at the raceway will hopefully allow them to reach many more when the supply allows. I feel like I'm halfway safe. I'm halfway safe. 77 year old Catherine Alston describes how she feels minutes after getting her first dose of Moderna's COVID 19 vaccine. I know when I get the second one, I'll be 90, 90 something safe. Alston was one of thousands who rolled up their sleeves at the Richmond Raceway Tuesday on the final day of a three day push to vaccinate seniors from around the region. Other attendees praised how it was run. Well organized, people so nice. I was a school teacher, so they all get A pluses. <laughs> Jackson Baynard with Henrico County's Emergency Management has been in charge of the clinic and credits coordination between a large number of groups. Yeah, that takes an incredible effort uh, between vaccinators, registration, data entry, pharmacy, drawing, parking lot, everything that goes into it uh, makes it possible. Baynard says they've kept working on ways to improve their processes and on Saturday we're able to get through up to 600 people per hour. Our average uh, up to about the last two hours of the day was 500. 134 vaccinations given per hour. In total, he says they vaccinated 4,854 people Saturday, which he says he believes is a one day record for an event in Virginia. He says registration and vaccine supply have been the primary challenges they've had to overcome. On the former issue, he says the health department is switching to a new registration system. We're trying to remain flexible, creative, uh, to make sure that uh, even if the registration system isn't perfect, uh, it's better at least get some shots in the arms. While on the vaccine supply issue. He says they're waiting to learn how much they'll get for next week, but says when supply does increase, they'll be able to ramp up their daily output beyond what they accomplished this weekend. With the footprint we have, with the system in place, for a 12-hour uh, operational period, we could expect to be able to do 6,000 people per 12 hours. Now, as this event has, erupt, uh, has ended, officials say that they will be switching for the next three days to another mass vaccination event focused on some of those essential workers that qualify right now under Phase 1B, that being teachers and first responders. But again, they want to remind people that these vaccine events are by appointment only, no walk-ups. Working for you in Henrico County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.